What's up, YouTube? I'm King Shanks, and this is Droids Finest, and I am back with Shadowrun Returns, part 36. Oh my. So, where we left off is I just killed Silas and his big pretzel guy that he had after me. And with his dying breath, he said, She played us both. Or something like that. Anyways, we're gonna find out who's playing us. I think it's Miss Kubota or... Or Sam's sister. Those are my theories. Could even be Coyote. I don't know. Let's find out. Holmes workbench falls somewhere between coroner's slab and medieval torture device. It is decorated in the many colors of death and littered... God, sorry everybody, the, the writing is really small on my tablet, I can barely see it, and I keep losing my place. If it seems like I'm stuttering a lot, and misreading a lot, it's because of that, I'm sorry, I apologize. And littered with the instruments of the trade. To one side, there's a leather-bound journal stuffed with uneven pages. To the other is a parsec. It's small, screen still glowing. Beneath the bench is a rolled shelf of papers held closed with a tied length of surgical tubing. Okay, let's investigate. Investigate the work spots. The bench has clearly played host to numerous bodies over its lifetime. It includes limb restraints as well as skeletal tra oh, traction mechanisms. Ooh, that doesn't sound good. At this table, Holmes likely dismembered bodies, or quite possibly put them back together. Ugh. Ugh. The tackiness of the blood suggests it has been used relatively recently. Skim the journal, I shall do. Leafing through the pages, you find a few intelligible entries. Holmes may not have been... A real doctor, but his handwriting certainly fits the stereotype. St oh, the stereotype, you know, when a doctor writes, you... What the hell does that say? Alright, anyways. Stuffed in the last few pages is a copy of... Of a disinterment order of a local cemetery where the grave's occupant marked as Melinda Watts. That's weird. Maybe he's trying to bring his wife back? I don't know. Access something about a pocket. I don't know what I just did. <coughs> Holmes is still logged in, granting you access to his current loaded files. Prominent among them is a hospital report from a donor program. It lists the organs beside the names and vital statistics of the recipients. Your eye catches Sam Watts' name beside the entry for liver. Also, on the list are the Ripper's other known victims, along with several others who may have shared in the same fate. Uh -oh. I got money. Ooh, 45,000. Oh, no, wait, 4,500. Sorry, I am bad with numbers. There is also a large sum of Nihon, which can easily be transferred into my account. Good. Examine the rolled sheet pa of paper. Well, oh, that's good. It is freezing in my basement right now. Unfurling the large sheet of paper, you discover a diagram of a human female form rendered into an impressive level of detail. It appears to be the blueprint for making Holmes' his very own monster. Yeah. All right, then. That all sounds perfectly sane. Okay, so I need to find an exit now, apparently. I guess that's it right there. Let me just take a looky look. Alright, nothing else. Let's go. Oh, whoa, hi. Hello. You both look very, um, naked and operated on. His chip slot is still fresh. The open wound pink and wet. The lure oh the lured of his voice drips 
innuendo, but his eyes say nobody's home. Okay. Male Banraku. Well, hello there. Did you come to play? No thanks, I just want to know what's going on. I'm not in the mood for games. Are you okay? How long have you been here? That's the one I'll go with. Of course we're okay. We're ready for a little party. You want to have a little par play party with me? By your name? Oh, are they like sex robots? I think they're sex robots. She's assembled into standard configuration. Face of a schoolgirl, body of a stripper. You'd need some thick beer goggles to miss the work he's, she's had done. Okay. All right. Uh, zombie prostitute, I think. Crystal effects, chip, whipper, wiper, whatever. All right, I'm leaving. Goodbye. Nice chatting. Oh, there's going to be more of them, isn't there? Huh? Huh? Is it? Oh, wait, what? Okay, never mind. Uh, this is a really cool map, by the way. So I'm pretty sure I'm definitely nowhere near done the game just yet. Shannon Half Sky. As you approach the exit, you realize that Shannon lingers quite a few steps behind. Looking back, you see that she is half turned, looking pensively toward the horror show of Holmes Lab. Finally feeling your eyes on her, she faces you and raises her head in a proud, almost defiant manner. We have done much good here tonight. We have removed two vile creatures from this world, and so ended a growing shadow they cast upon the city. Our paths crossed, cro our paths crossed and joined, and we did this thing together, but now... Here our paths divide. No! Shannon! Oh god, half sky, don't leave me. You saw what I saw. This isn't over yet. Hate to say it, but the job ain't over, lady. I could sure use your help with what's coming. I could sure use your help. And I'm sure I could use your help with what I must do next. Which is what? A distant cry of pain echoes down from somewhere above, and the young shaman pauses to listen to the tortured sound. There is still more, more work to be done for both of us, but, but what must be done differs for each of us. I came here to find justice for my brother, and that has been done. His spirit can now find rest, but there are other victims of the Ripper both alive and dead, who still struggle to be at peace. Many of them are here in this place, filling the walls with their torment. I cannot leave them behind. But the spirits have something else in store for you, a different path. You must finish what you've begun. You must confront the first evil that fostered the one... We have just added, oh, see, yeah, I knew it. I knew there's more. I was right. I suppose I can respect that. You realize most of the poor bastards in this place won't appreciate your effort, right? There's no way I can change your mind. I suppose I can respect that. Bye, Shannon. Hopefully we'll come across each other's paths again someday. Thank you. Thank you for everything. Because of you, my brother's killer has met swift justice, and justice of the only sort such a man of, as Holmes deserves death. Yes, he does. I will now set to the task of healing those he has left behind. For every madman we faced here tonight, there are a dozen innocent souls crying out in need. The spirits of the departed will also... Okay. Sorry, my eyes, see, I don't know if you noticed that. My eyes kind of just went, like, cross-eyed. The writing's so small. The spirits of the departed will also need help in passing, or else I fear they may become 
like those we met in the hangar. They all deserve my help. And what about Lone Star? They can't be far behind us. When they enter that room back there, they will have no thoughts other than thoughts of promotion with the Ripper in hand. My brother will be forgotten along with all the other victims, but so too will I. There will, they will need, they, they will not be a problem. Never mind. Um, whether that's true or not, Shannon's confidence and very persistence seem capable of making it true. Good luck to you, bitch Garf. I hope you can find the same justice for your friend that I found for my brother. I appreciate that and good luck to you. Ain't no doubt about it. Thank you, Shannon. I appreciate that and good luck. Now, peace out, homegirl. Yes. Yeah. I wonder who set me up. Me and Silas. Playing both sides. The ride back to the Seamstress Union is quiet compared to the Pandemonium left behind at Mercy Mental Hospital. Lone Star Squad cars pass you on the road. Sirens blaring, no doubt, in response to the aftermath of your showdown with the do late Dr. Henry Holmes, the Emerald City Ripper, the man who violently repossessed the internal organs of Sam and Jessica's mother. Okay, Melinda Watts. And although the killer is dead and his grip on the city is broken, it's clear he hasn't, he wasn't working alone. There are loose ends aching to be tied. The taxi turns into Red Man's Way, cruising past now familiar landmarks until the Seamstress Union, in all its decadent seedy glory, materializes between Swipes of the overworked windshield wipers. Time to evaluate my next move. Alright. I'll move. Ugh. The game makes my eyes water because the writing's so small. The union is quiet this afternoon. The salary men and wage sell slaves haven't migrated from nearby offices and suburbs to dabble in the exotic yet. I say that's weird. Okay. So there's Janitor Joe. Alright, well I'll talk to Janitor Joe. There's gonna be some talk in here. So. Johnny Clean. Alright. Johnny Clean is taking or is talking with Cherry Bomb and Miss Kabuto when you walk up. We were just talk talking about you, bitch Garf. And the Emerald City Ripper. Ironic that you tracked a serial killer to a mental hospital. Johnny Clean told us where you were going, Ome. We have been waiting for you to return. Oh, I don't have any etiquette. Okay, you seem pretty interested. Waiting to hear the latest dirt? Why were you waiting? One killer more or less in a place like this. What's the difference? No, wait. Want to hear the new latest dirt? No, oh, apparently I answered that wrong. Sorry, everybody. Hey, that's not fair. I'm not looking for dirt. I kind of liked Sam. Sure, he creeped on me once in a while, but he had a good heart. I miss him sitting at the end of the bar telling jokes. We each have our reasons for waiting, wanting the, the killer to be found. Sam was a regular here, and his, and his loss has been felt regardless of his shortcomings. The whole sprawl has been shaken by these killings as well. The randomness of them, no one knows if they will be next or what the killer might take from them. I admit the killings haven't hampered business or have hampered business as well i am sorry but it's true it doesn't it does not help that sam's body was found down the street from here 
Shut up, phone! Was found down the street from here. Even my regular customers have been loath to venture out with a killer on the loose. Now tell us, Ome, did you find the person responsible for the rip murders? The person responsible? No. The killer? Yes. Uh, not exactly. I got the bastard who wielded the scalpel, but whoever's pulling the strings is still out there. Yes, that's a better answer. Still pulling the strings of a serial killer? This, this sounds more complicated than I suspected. Probably is. It is the head of the asylum was the killing... Oh, it is. The head of the asylum was killing specific people to harvest specific body parts. All of the transplanted organs came from the same donor. Came from the same donor. Mel Melinda Watts, Sam's mother. It looks like he was putting her back together. Oh yeah, the whole thing was... A Frankenstein job. The Ripper was har harvesting body parts to reassemble Sam's mother, Melinda, and all all the victims had transplanted organs, her organs, and the Ripper was taking them back. Oh. Oh, God. It's Sam's sister that's doing this, trying to bring back her mother from the dead. Okay. Well, I guess, yeah, I'll just say the first one. The three are silent as the news sinks in. So, Sam had an organ transplant from his mother, and then the Ripper killed Sam and those other people just to reassemble Sam's mother? Looks like it. Grizzly, isn't it? That's about the size of it, yeah. Wait, Grizzly, isn't it? So Grizzly. Oh, my foot's numb, sorry. I'm sitting here with my feet crossed because it's freezing and I'm trying to keep my feet co warm underneath my ass or something. I don't know. Okay. I sense a cause I sense a cause and effect in this. Coyote and Jake Armitage just left here to attend Sam's funeral. I am told that there will be a re-intermittent ceremony for his mother as well. His sister invited me to the funeral and the re-intermittent when I met her here. Oh, right. A re-enterment ceremony. Interesting. Sounds like she'll be buried with all of her missing body parts. Huh. Say the first one. Think his sister Jessica had something to do with it? That is what I'm thinking. That's exactly what I'm thinking. Hang on, I saw Sam's sister when she was here the other day. She was a corp. As, oh wait, she was as corp as they come. But I can't imagine a lady like that behind a series of murders. That's got to be something else. There's got to be something else going on. It is clear that you must go to the funeral and talk with Jessica Watch, bitch garf. I will, and I'm going to get some answers. That's where I was heading, Miss Kubota. Yeah? And I need to pay my respects to Sam. And I need to repay my respects to Sam. Of course. Miss Kubota raises her hand and the conversation stops. Wait. Before you go, there's one thing you did not tell us, Bitchgarf. Where is the Emerald Ripper City now? Decomposing... I think you know where. Well, he isn't in heaven, that's... <laughs> I'm sure of that. I think you know where. She nods in satisfaction. Hi, that is good. Plan my next move. Go to the Watts funeral. Alright, I'll do that in a minute. I'm gonna go look around for a bit and see if I can find anything or anybody I can talk to my good friend Clue over here 
Uh, I'm out of time anyway, so I'm going to continue this in... Ah, uh, so, so tingly and numb. How many points do I have? Okay. I'm going to do the points quick and then... Or my karma. I'll do the karma real quick and then I'll move on. Okay, so, trying to get everything to three now, right? Yeah. Takes three to get... No. To get them going. Up three. Close combat's better. Melee. I don't have any throwing weapons. Alright, well, I don't have enough to do anything now, so let's just go confirm. I'm gonna save and go to the next episode. Next one, I'll talk to Mr. Cluter or whatever, and I'm gonna go downstairs and see if there's anything I can buy, but I don't think there is. Probably not anything. I got a ton of money, but I just... Done. Can I can I do it now? I have a feeling somebody's gonna attack the funeral. Being saved. Okay, there we go. So I'm gonna only be doing another three tonight, so stay tuned and I'll see you soon. Peace.